In this tutorial, we're looking at how to input data and manage lists in stats mode. To work along with this video, you may find it easiest to reset the calculator before starting so that your screen matches the one in the video. This will delete any data you've already typed in and not saved. I'm going to type the first list with errors in it to show you how to correct them. It's always a useful thing to know. Choose stats mode and type in your data. Each time you press execute, the cursor moves down, ready for the next value. Scroll up to the error in row two and simply overtype and execute. To insert a 23 into this next row, Go to the second menu and choose Insert, and then type the new value over the zero, and Execute. Scroll down to delete the second 24. The numbers below it in the list move up, so be careful if you're typing in paired data that the alignment doesn't go astray. Often data comes with frequency or as bivariate data, so two lists of data can be typed in the same way, this time without any mistakes. Scroll to the right and then begin typing from the beginning of the list of frequencies. In order to make a calculation, you'll need to select which lists to use and in what way. This can be done by returning to the first screen of menus, choosing Calc and then Set. Choose which list you want to use for your calculations. And scroll to change the frequency from 1 to the numbers in list 2. Notice that the default setting for a two variable calculations is already list 1 and list 2. You can change these to any two lists and set a frequency as well should you need to. Next I'm going to assume that the numbers in list 2 are frequencies and calculate percentages in list 3. I will add the cumulative percentages in list 4. Exit to return to the list screen. And now scroll up to the heading for list 3. From the option menu choose list and then scroll across to find percentage. To type the word list use option again and list and list and enter list 2 into the formula. The percentage of the total frequency is now displayed. List 4 can be used to display the cumulative percentage for each row. So option, list, and scroll to cumulative. Option to enter list 3, and execute. Notice it's just as easy to display cumulative frequencies by choosing list 2 instead of list 3. Sometimes the data entered into the two lists represents bivariate data, so delete lists 3 and 4. Now, you can add headings to these lists by scrolling across and typing in using the alpha key for Y and execute. Scroll again to use alpha X. To sort this data based on list two, choose tool and then choose sort and two. The base list is list 2 in our case, and the second list is list 1. Notice that now list 2 is in order, and the pairs of values have been kept together. We will look at how to import data from a PC and how to save data typed into the calculator in the document that supports this video tutorial. Instructions on how to perform the calculations and draw the graphs can be found in other video tutorials. You can find additional resources at education.casio.co.uk.